Hello and welcome to a special presentation by Billy Ho Sports. On May 4th, 2024, we celebrate the 150th Kentucky Derby. This milestone marks a celebration of my hometown's greatest sporting event. Let's look back in time to the beginning of the 20th century when Louisville was a growing metropolis. Roads were being built, skyscrapers were creating the city's skyline, and uh, uh, many of these structures that were built during this time are still in use today, one way or another. Uh, the Big Four Bridge was completed in 1895, giving rail access for freight and passengers between Louisville and Southern Indiana. Today, it's a bicycle and pedestrian walkway spanning nearly two miles across the Ohio River. And uh, by today's standards, we mark the Kentucky Derby uh, by the first Saturday in May, but that wasn't always the case. In 1901, it was held on April 29th. His eminence was ridden to victory by African-American jockey Jimmy Winkfield. The Jimmy Winkfield Stakes has been run at Aqueduct since uh, 2005, and this year's winner was Bergen. Winkfield again went back to back 1902 aboard Allen Adele in just a four horse race with only a half length separating the entire field. Winkfield was able to lead his horse across the wire by a near miss. In 1903, Winkfield nearly had the third consecutive Kentucky Derby aboard an odds on favorite by the name of Early. This was the first year a web barrier was used at the start of the race. Jockey Hal Booker rode 10 to 1 Judge Himes, who managed to overtake a fatiguing early in the final 16th of a mile. Uh, news reporters criticized Winkfield, stating he thought he had it in the bag until it was too late. And actually, more than 50 years later, Winkfield uh, went on the record saying that he drove him too hard too early and uh, also notably the 1903 uh, was that year of the web barrier the 1904 kentucky derby was won by 15 to one shot elwood jockey frank shorty prior rode the less than stellar horse who indeed had previously competed in $300 claiming races in California and had earned the nickname the Missouri Mule. The 1905 Kentucky Derby had a record crowd of 20,000 people and the presence of one of the most famous actresses, singers of the early 20th century, Lillian Russell was in attendance. She had graced the Derby Eve opening of the new Sealback Hotel and she later actually became very passionate about racing and established her own racing stables. Uh, that year, the, the Derby only had three entries and with Agile claiming the victory. 1906, Sir Huon won the Derby by two links over second place Lady Navarre. It's notable that the Kentucky Derby uh, was the first start of Sir Huon's three-year-old season. Winning jockey Roscoe Troxler was gifted an 18 karat gold pocket watch to commemorate the victory. This historic timepiece, 116 years later, sold at auction in 2022 for $7,700. In 1907, the longest shot in the field of six, 15 to one pink star, not only trailed the field early on, but was five lengths behind the fifth place. He closed strongly under jockey Andy Minder for a two length victory over Zal. 1908 was yet another muddy track. Uh, not only dampened the, th the enthusiasm for the Derby, but also slowed the race time. The winner Stone Street crossed the finish line at odds of 61 to one, and it is the slowest Kentucky Derby time on record. 1909, Wintergreen went wire to wire to win the Kentucky Derby and was owned and bred by Boone County's Jerome Respus. 
nicknamed Rome, he gained a reputation as a wild youngster, often getting into drunken bar brawls. And one of these encounters uh, spiraled out of control into a riot. Rome took a bullet in the arm during the fray. His, and later on, tragedy struck his derby winning horse, Wintergreen, who was one of eight thoroughbreds killed in a barn fire in 1914. 1910 opens up the decade two of the 20, 20th century. The William Gerst owned and bred Donau emerged victorious in the 36th Kentucky Derby. After winning by less than a length over the next three finishers combined, the poor overraced and weary horse was never the same. In 1911, the minimum bet was reduced from $5 down to 2 and uh, introduced betting booths at the Derby. Meridian won by three quarters of a length over Governor Gray and paid $7.80. The 1912 Kentucky Derby brought the fans another year of rain soaked and muddy conditions. The Derby was won by Worth and was one of the slowest derbies in history. 1913, the Kentucky Derby witnessed the victory of the longest shot in history with Donna Rail paying a whopping $184.90. Astronomical odds of 91 to 1. Donna Rail's trainer, T.P. Hayes, initially wasn't even going to run the Colt. The even, the even money favorite, 10 Point, took the lead right from the start but at the head of the stretch, he was noticeably tiring, which allowed Donnerell to pull off the epic upset. The Bell of Louisville was built in 1914 and today serves as the oldest operating Mississippi River style steamboat in the world. The Derby was run just a, prior, just a month prior to the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand, sparking the Great War. Old Rosebud put on one of the most dominant derby performances to date, winning by a margin of eight lengths. On May 7, 1915, the British liner Lusitania was sunk by the German U-boat, uh, losing 1,198 civilian lives. The 41st Kentucky Derby unfolded the following day, introducing an unprecedented champion. Regret achieved a historic feat by becoming the first Philly to win the Kentucky Derby and to this day has only been achieved by two others. 1916 Kentucky Derby unfolded on a clear day featuring a field of nine horses. George Smith, guided by the esteemed jockey Johnny Loftus, emerged as the winner by a neck. In the midst of World War I, 1918 brought us 30 to one long shot exterminator who wins the Derby. It was noted that the horse was easy to cheer for at the time capturing the hearts of many Americans during this time of war. 1919, World War I was coming to an end and the country was ready for peace and prosperity. Sir Barton won the Derby that year uh, with an increased purse of $20,000. He was known as a cranky cult who mostly disliked humans and uh, was uh, also known for winning his first race, breaking his maiden on Derby Day. What's amazing about this young colt is not only was he the first to win the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes, creating a Triple Crown in the same year, he also added in the One Mile Withers Stakes at Belmont on May 24th. 1920 was the year Man of War should have been another Triple Crown winner, but his owner, Samuel Riddle, thought his horse was too young to go the mile and a quarter of the Kentucky Derby, which posed a riddle in itself as he entered his colt in the Belmont Stakes a month later going a full eighth of a mile farther. That left the Kentucky, that left the 1920 Kentucky, Tucky, the Kentucky Derby open for Paul Jones to win with a lucrative payout of $34.40. Fun fact, 
Man of War Boulevard is the main artery circling Lexington and the main connector to Keeneland Racecourse. By 1921, the African-American jockeys had all but disappeared from the Kentucky Derby, uh, largely due to obvious segregation and systemic racism being a huge problem, not only in Louisville, but all across the country back then. A horse named Behave Yourself was deemed the underdog compared to his stablemate, Black Servant, for owner Edward Bradley. Bradley was an unhappy owner of the Kentucky Derby winner having placed the bulk of his bankroll on the runner-up and not the winner. I think we should all feel somewhat relieved that we didn't have a Kentucky Derby winner named Black Servant in one of the worst years of racial tension in the early 20th century. In 1922, Hollywood came to the Kentucky Derby for the first time and the race was recorded from start to finish as part of a silent film called The Kentucky Derby. Morvich's win wasn't broadcast live, but in the weeks following, you could see the race in many silent movie houses. In 1923, the Kentucky Derby saw a record 21 entries. Unlikely winner, who was better known as a sprinter, Zell, the victor, had faced a setback, losing by 26 lengths in the Preakness just a week prior to the Derby. That was marking his first race beyond six furlongs in 1923. 1924 was a special year, marking the 50th anniversary of the Derby. Celebrated as the Golden Jubilee Derby, the first Gold Cup was awarded to the winner, and My Old Kentucky Home was first played before the race. A dying horseman by the name of Al Hoots had a deathbed premonition that his mare, you see it, would give birth to a Kentucky Derby champion. His widow Rosa made his dying wish a reality by breeding champion Black Gold, named after the oil that is texas tea that paid the stud fees black gold was a fitting kentucky derby champion that year i want to thank you for riding along with me today until next time happy trails <laughs>